What's up everybody, you're watching Oscorp. Today I'm gonna to be opening up the Temporal Forces booster box. And you've probably already seen other videos of Temporal Forces and seen some really terrible pull rates. But at the same time, I don't really care. Normally people wanna go for some SIRs. I know that they have risen in value over the past several weeks, but I'm trying to get some A-spec cards and there's a lot of good cards in the meta that I would like to pull. So regardless of the pull rates, Let's see what we can get out of this box. What I'm also interested in is getting some code cards. So hopefully we can get something good out of that so I can put it into the game. Pack one coming up right now. Ooh, the first hit is an Arbok IR. Nice, good start. Second pack, second hit. Scissor, full art. I got that already. So this guy right here, I shunned him in my ETB video, but this is like one of the top cars that you can get for the new meta, Iron Crown. Ooh, we got a gold iron leaves. Nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is the top A spec card. I don't know what it's at right now. I remember it was like at 23 bucks. It went to 31. And yeah, I don't know where it's at right now, but I know this is a good card. And done, done, sparse. This is also in a deck that I've seen. Um, you evolve your done sparse, put this guy in, and you could keep on like rotating, right? Because you use the ability and you pull those cards away from your bench or your active, and then you draw three cards, and these guys go back into your deck, not your discard, which is really good. Gouging fire, nice. That's cool. I also want Bramble Gast. This guy is a very big heavy hitter, uh, especially when uh, this is like a deck where you're supposed to be playing behind. For every prize card that your opponent is taking, you get 50 more HP. So you can get up to like four, 300 HP, and then you use another a spec card that gets you a hundred so this guy gets pretty beefy and if you have like a couple of them it works but this this attack is kind of iffy because you have to like draw some heads how you flip the coins i'm not how, sure how that exactly works because there's some uh situations where i've seen four cards flip but all the way up to like 13 uh coins flip and that's pretty crazy Ooh, another illustration where Relicanth. I don't no, it's a pretty cool art. I was gonna say I didn't really care too much about it, but it's it's pretty cool. It's a good hit. Ooh, Iron Leaves EX. Nice hit. I don't think I have that. All right, that is the first half of the, the box. Eight hits, not bad. That means that this other half is probably gonna be poo-poo. My ride on EX. This one's really confusing to look at. Ooh, Bianca's Devotion. 
heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that has 30 HP or less remaining. Ugh, that's kind of difficult. Wow, we got another A spec card in this box. So this is that cape that I was talking about. You add 100 plus to your Pokemon. It's pretty good. Especially for that Bramble gas. This one. Iron Boulder EX. That's nice. Sanam IR. Look at it go. Torterra EX. That's cool, I guess. Not really interested in looking for you. All right, last pack for this box. Yep, nothing. So 14 hits out of this box, not too bad. The quality of the hits, I think is pretty good. I'm really happy that I got the Prime Catcher. I'm also happy that I got the Iron Crown EX. That's two now that I have. Iron Leaves Gold was awesome. The Hero's Cape for sure is awesome. I, I'm happy that I got two Ace Bet cards. So my honest opinion, especially coming from the ETBs that I opened up, if you're hunting for the SIRs, I'm just gonna say good luck. The prices may drop per card, but who knows? Maybe this is another fusion strike with pool rates or the hits that you want specifically well hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video please smash the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't for more pokemon tcg content just like this i wish everybody's doing well and i catch you in the next video peace